Have you ever wondered why you have brown eyes like your dad or curly hair like your grandma? The answer lies in your genes and more specifically in your alleles. Let's break it down. So, so let's, let's do, do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can explain dominant and recessive alleles of genes. Before we get started, we noticed that only 2% of our audience is actually subscribed to our channel. If our videos help you learn science, like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to push out great science content to help you on your journey of learning. It's free for you and means the world to us. Part one, what are genes and alleles? Inside every cell in your body is a set of instructions for DNA. A gene is a segment of DNA that tells your body how to make a specific trait, like eye color or hair texture. But here's the cool part. You have two copies of every gene, one from your biological mom and one from your biological dad. These different versions of a gene are called alleles. For example, the gene for eye color may have a brown allele and a blue allele. Part two, dominant versus recessive. So what happens when you get two different alleles? That's where dominant and recessive alleles come in. A dominant allele is like a bossy leader. It only takes one copy to show up in your traits. A recessive allele is more like a quiet team player. It only shows up when both alleles are recessive. Let's go back to eye color. Brown eyes are dominant and have an uppercase B. Blue eyes are recessive and have a lowercase B. If you inherit a capital B from mom, and a lowercase b from dad, your combination is capital B, lowercase b, and you'll have brown eyes because the dominant allele takes charge. But to have blue eyes, you need to have two lowercase b's or two recessive alleles. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what are genes and what do they do? Number two, what are alleles? Provide an example of an allele. Number three, what is a dominant allele? What is a recessive allele? Number four, short hair in rabbits is governed by a dominant gene, capital L, and long hair by a recessive allele, lowercase l. What would be the phenotype for rabbit hair length if a rabbit had capital L, lowercase l, or two capital L's, or two lowercase l's? Pause the video and take four to five minutes to write your responses. You got this. Part three. Real life examples. Here are some more fun examples of traits controlled by dominant and recessive alleles. Let's start with our dominant traits. Widow's peak, freckles, and dimples. Let's move on to our recessive traits. Straight hairline, no freckles, and attached earlobes. You may not realize it, but your body is like a walking genetic experiment. Quick just for understanding. Number one, if dimples are dominant, capital D, and no dimples are lowercase d and recessive, if someone has one dominant and one recessive allele, or they have dimples, explain why or why not. Number two, what if someone had two recessive alleles, or they have dimples, explain why or why not. Pause the video and take five minutes to write your responses. Let's go. Dominant and recessive alleles help explain how traits are passed from one generation to the next. Whether it's your eyes, your hair, or your smile, your genes tell a story. Want to learn more about how traits are inherited? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out our next video on homozygous and heterozygous alleles. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.